In this particular lecture, let's learn how our React application works. So simply open up the terminal here and just execute the npm start command. So I would first go inside the project, which is my project. That should be my project. And then I would say npm start. And once you execute the npm start command, the project would be started and open up in a web browser. So the way in which this particular React application works is that when you go ahead and run this npm start command, the index.html file is served in the browser. So index.html file is nothing but this file which you have in the public folder. So let me actually close this for now and show you this file right here. So the main thing in this particular file is this div right here which has this id of root. So this particular div is called as the root dom node and this particular root dom node is the thing which is controlled by react so if you go inside index.js as you can see we get access to that root dom element by making use of get element by id and once we get access to that particular root dom node the react dom which we are using here actually is responsible for rendering the app component inside this particular root DOM element. So now the control flows to the app component and the app component is nothing but it's a component which is present inside app.js. So now if you go inside app.js, this is the code which is being rendered on a page right here. So if you really want to confirm if this app.js controls the entire thing, what you could simply do is that you could go inside this app component and write up over here inside the paragraph tag where it says edit source app.js and save to reload. You could simply change this text to this is my first react app. Save this. And as soon as you save this, go back here, the changes would be automatically made over here and you don't have to refresh the web page. So that means we have altered the content of this particular app component. And by doing so, the home page of our web application is affected. So this is how the React application works. Now, once we have made changes to the component, we also need to understand the other things which we have inside this particular component. So we won't be touching this code until now because we don't exactly understand what a component is. So first of all, let's go ahead and let's understand what is a component in React and how it is created. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.